Welcome everyone to a super prop video. Yes, yes, yes. Today we are going to fight the TA-152, which is commonly considered, especially by me, a super prop because, well, it is very quick. And the amazing thing that I actually found about the TA-152 is that uh, in a battle, well, I have never played in a battle where more than two TA-152s uh, we're in like the battle that includes me so basically as you can see here I'm the only person flying this plane out and that is just like a testimony of how powerful it is uh, It's the high altitude fighter of course, you know me and well you don't know me in high altitude because I never said so but basically I'm not like really much of a Guy with high altitude flying But this this is a very good plane. It's actually really really it's amazing and it does strike fair into people's hearts uh so yeah, what armament does this plane have? Again, this is pretty, pretty actually pretty interesting. It has uh, two 20mm cannons over here and over here, and one 30mm cannon. And that means that basically whatever I hit is more or less going to be pulverized uh, instantly. So just to have a look at the team here, two G14s and D9, K4, D9, D13, B and me. The only person here with the TA-152. And... The interesting thing about the 20mm is that the first gun upgrade you can get in the tier 1 upgrade is actually a 20mm. So, already, I'll have a uh, uh, an easily, like, because the stock 20mm for well, any gun aren't really, and yeah, aren't really that good. So you have a V24 here. I've, the first time I flew this plane, like, a few matches ago, uh, they told me, like, a person told me that, uh, let's see, how do you fly this plane? A person told me that, uh, you play this plane at around 5,000 to 6,000 meters altitude, and now, that is too high for me. I am more of a low altitude fighter with, um, um I don't even know a low altitude fighter that's meant to be played well. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm more of an altitude fighter. Uh, low altitude, yes. Uh, so yeah, of course the 30 mm doesn't need the gun upgrade because one shot kills pretty much instantly. So yeah, of course, like, well, this is basically uh, a focal for 90, uh, but with a different name, the D9, D, one of the Ds. Uh, I have many. So yeah, it does have an amazing roll rate as usual. With all the fuck wolves and not much to it. Of course, its climb rate is slightly below par in this stock, but it's already faster than the stock. No, I don't have the. I was recording something, but it's already like 449. Well, I thought it was a, okay. And I've misread a few things, but it is. I know. I just turned off my engine. <laughs> what an embarrassment. That is not what we want. That is not what we want. Okay. Uh, I know Kurt Tank. Uh, so, yeah, of course, now we need to. Uh, uh, get the F7F because we are basically the only plane that can uh, that also brings fear to people's hearts and also we are located in the same place uh, in our tech trees this is just the one before like it's the naval ones it's before like some naval jets and this is before the HE162 so you will probably now see the amazing power of these amazing guns as you can see the F7F is trying evasive maneuvers and oh dear no Ah, damn it. Booming and zooming. He's not going to be able to uh, catch me if I go into dive. Uh, back onto him again because I can just go for a side angle. That'll be harder for him to wrap the way for. Nope. Again. Because I'm used to flying, uh, 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 shooting the P47s, uh, M250 cals. Um, these, you know, I only have in my mind. More, oh, that's not, that is not, oh, 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 okay. Uh, 
never go ahead on with this thing as this tempest will find out so hopefully 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 let's just give him a quick burst here i oh that was that was close he won't be able to catch me in this because he's a tempest mark 5 and i am a ta1 oh dear nine okay now let's just uh, push forward because he, he, he look look at that he won't be able to catch me on this He's playing a stall fight with a energy for uh, well, boom and zoomer. Like this is probably the quickest German prop in the game. Bang! Uh, oh, oh, what is he? What is what? What the heck? Okay, I, I, that's interesting. Uh, that's interesting, I suppose. Uh, but however, we do have another plane, which is another tempest. So we have to. That could be actually tempest mark two. Hopefully not. Uh, let's just split test here. This plane isn't very good at turning as you can see so what we are going to do is just do that and just continue forwards he's just going to turn to a turn bad idea you know he won't be able to catch me okay he is damn it damn it i cannot play this plane properly it is not the sort of plane that I know how to fly. I do not know my stats because when you come into like a game like this with this type of plane, uh, you do really need to know your stats. So yeah, game two I suppose because I did get like that was a half decent game. I got one kill. And getting kills with this, you might think it's easy. You have amazing cannons. Uh, it's not. It's really not because, well, for me. This is what I find. I'm more of a turn fighter. I just like my. Cause I think I, I started uh, playing with the Spitfires, etc. And the British Tech Team, Tree Tech Team, funny, uh, uh, which are. Well, they have lots of turn fighters, and I played with the turn fighters. And then you come to this, which is the opposite of a turn fighter. And that's when you know that uh, you need to start learning your stuff. Because you cannot. It's, it's, you can't just go from. Playing a turn fighter to playing an energy fighter. I mean, energy fighting is basically booming. Well, it's not even an energy. Fighter, it's boom and zoomer, which means the only real turns that you can do are uh, what do you call vertical turns? So like roll up, not to the sides. Up. What's the time? Checking three forty one. So this is really an interesting. Uh, Playing to fly, that is for certain. This is amazing. It does really strike fear into people's hearts because, like, look, there are there's like a D13, D9, a Fockwells, BF 109s, Meshit Smiths 410s, etc., etc., even A5 P2. These are all planes that are the average. And then you see, like, in the distance, a TA152, and then you think, oh, that is something special. That is that is the pinnacle. It's like amazing man yes uh so yeah that's really it well i think i've been fully downed because the focal from 95 u2s oh, i don't have it here battle rating is 4.7 and this is 5.7 i mean it used to be 6.3 i think and i was really interested in uh i was really looking forward to fighting with jets and stuff but i guess not yes Actually, one plane you don't see is the Focke Wulf 90 D12, which is basically the same as this, but with shorter wings and the fatter wings, and it's, it's like the D13. It's like the D13. So yeah, a bit of history, I suppose. This plane was the last plane I think to be designed for by Kurt Tank, who designed all the Focke Wulfs. I'm not really good for history lessons because I'm pretty sure I said something wrong there. Uh, one second, and uh, it was named TA152 because uh, Kurt ta TA, Kurt Tank, get it? See, ah, there was also other TA one uh, thingy. Okay, they do need my help. Uh, yeah, they do. They they are and other TA stuff like there's like a mosquito, is it? Let's, let's, let's just find out here. Let's close all the tabs. Uh, TA plane. 
I'm sure there's more than one uh, TAA plane designed by Kurt Tank. Fuck off. You have two planes over here. This, pla this plane is a high altitude uh, a bomber interceptor, I believe. It is certainly a high altitude plane. I mean, you can see that. Look at this. Top speed at 10,000 meters, and which is uh, amazing. It is honestly super because I've re I rarely, like, once or twice, been at 10,000 meters, of course, with my GT Trop video, uh, GT Tropical uh, video. And yeah, 10,000 meters is incredibly high. So at the moment, we are not going to 10,000 meters because. Well, I'll be the only plane up there. We might as well just attack these bombers because we are the only planes to do that. We are well, the only team member we have is this BF109. Who let's see which BF109 does he have? Which okay, right. Let's just uh, so G6. That is actually a great plane, amazing plane. Hopefully, I'll make a top 10 video soon so you can see how great this plane is. B17, B25. I think the B17 should be the higher priority. Actually, the B25 is closer though, so let's just. Uh, we can't do two quick turns because we are going extremely quickly, less like 425 miles per hour. So we are. Kaplow, Kaplow. Oh, oh, that was actually pretty good. I'm like, well done, you, because I, I could not follow that. I mean, I am just like going really quickly in my TA152. So yeah, basically, this thing was engineered because. The Allies at this point uh, in World War II were attacking the Germans with their high altitude bombers, which the Germans couldn't really do anything about. Ah, I can't talk and give the history lesson at the same time. Uh, the Germans couldn't really do anything about it because, well, it, yeah, they had lots of bombers. Of course, you, you mean, the more the American bombers in this game have a very, uh, uh, Pretty famous for being pretty tough and always killing the fighter planes that come to fight them. So obviously in World War II, uh, things were the, the same, and the bombers outnumbered the the the, the, the what the hell? There we are, there we are, there we are. He's dead, he's dead. And the bombers uh, outnumbered the fighters because they they had the Americans had a lot more uh, uh, bomber bombers because they were well. They had a lot more money. That's really it. D this is this is not how to fight a, a, an American bomber. You could of course fight a British bomber like this was it all bad. And I, I say it like the one thing the Americans did do better than the British, which is like the only thing to do better than the British is the World War Two bombers. I don't know about bombers now. Uh, oh dear, I think I've been hit hit badly because of course this plane is like a jet because it's so fast. Hit nothing. Like I just get hits. Give me something good. Oh dear. Nope. And of course we can't afford to be behind this here because the Lancasters. Oh, oh, that's the power of 30 millimeters. That is the power of 30 millimeters. As you can see, the B25 is now engaging our our, our friend. Yep, that person with the G6. Uh, I have to return back to base actually because I'm running low. Oh, is that another plane? It's just it's another plane. This is exactly what this plane. This is really historically accurate. This is actually um um. Thank you, Wolf Thunder. I mean, first you have Me Two Six Twos fighting like Cold War planes, but so uh, now you have this, which is actually good. I I'm, I agree with it. I agree with this. Of course, I'm okay. Well, that's three kills. Of course, it was all bomber kills, which are much easier than fighter kills. Well, yeah. And I'm actually recording a good video, which is amazing. <laughs> I don't know how much time I waste just making videos. <laughs> it's this, but it's, it's a sacrifice of a YouTuber. So at the moment, we are just trying to get that B25, uh, which I hit so many times. I mean, it's annoying. This, but this is this is what you had to uh, get used to. Because I'm researching the Horton 229. I'd what? No, sorry. So I'm going to be researching jets, but uh, like the majority of jets that Germans have, like the main bits, have uh, 30mm Mark 108 cannons, which is the same as this one here. Uh, it's actually a machine gun cannon, not Mark. I don't know, I think that's what it is. And 
the really annoying there are two really annoying things about it and it, one is parking two is muscle velocity and I mean if you watch any uh, what's on the big youtuber who has these planes uh, ha has these guns uh, well on he will tell you yes they are extremely annoying do you know why one sparking ah oh, no I wanted to land at a but I couldn't so I have to rush B uh, JK no uh, this it doesn't matter honestly yes like I said sparking and muzzle velocity muzzle velocity you have to aim so far ahead, honestly. I, I mean, I don't know if that's, this is true, but apparently some planes can actually outrun muzzle because of course you fight with your ME 262C2B. You fight like the top tier planes like MiG 17, F2 Sabre, CL 13. Well, you don't fight the CL 13 unless you're. You know, I don't even know what they have, big RB. But. These planes are incredibly fast, especially in the dive. They can actually break the speed of sound in the dive, but of course, if you do that, then you get shot down, you break your wings, even though that's not historically accurate, because right, planes like the MiG 17 were able to break the speed of sound, and uh, etc. etc. They were not, they did not break their wings, so yeah. Right now, we're going to engage this Pitfire, American Supreme Pitfire Mark 9, LF Mark 9. This fuck will thankfully is baiting him, but it's slightly too late for him and slightly too early for me because I'm not close enough, especially with my engine being damaged and not working properly. And the Spitfire now is going to engage me, uh, which is sad because I cannot fight him, especially him because he's like a high rah. Hello, hello, baby. Ah, oh, that's it. Goodbye, 30 millimeters. I have to now shoot him with my stock. Uh. Okay, he's trying to, yeah, as you can see, we have actually lost a zone A, and now I have to shoot him down, and he's going over A point, which is notorious for having amazing, oh no, 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 he actually did something wrong, which is, uh, try to, well, I also did something wrong, I'm trying to engage him, no, I'm not going to follow you into that one, I'm never going to catch him in this one, uh, so, oh, bad, 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 bad. That, uh, why am I not able to outrun him? This this is a Spitfire, which I mean, which, which Spitfire is that? It's not a. Oh, Thank you for watching, everyone. It is time again that you have to leave me. Hello. This was the Spitfire LF Mark IX, which is actually an amazing plane. Honestly, um, wait. <laughs> so I just know it's a terrible fight too. I just read what's in front of me. It's an amazing plane, but that's my bad for trying to engage a low flying Spitfire with a high altitude fighter. Do not make that mistake again. But just just so you know what I got, got this amount without without even the battle finishing. It's amazing. This plane is honestly, let's see how much we have. Okay, thank you for watching, everyone. Goodbye.